So the next thing you're going to do now is assign those resources to the tasks in your project. Uh, so if you go back here to the left, or to the bottom on your left hand side, um, and you um, you click on it, um, you will get the option to switch back to your Gantt chart view, um, and you'll get back to your tasks, your view of your tasks and your Gantt chart. Um, so you have a number of ways of assigning resources, and as, as you become more familiar with Microsoft Project, uh, you'll find different ways to 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 go about assigning resources, but. Um, the, um, the the first way I'll show you is to um, this is, is to double click the task. So you double click the task, speak to agents, and you've been told that Andrew is going to do that um, task. Um, so if you look, uh, once you've double clicked it, you get the task information. If you click on the resources tab, you'll see the option to uh, to click on resource name, and you'll then get a little drop down where you can select Andrew. And note that it has assigned Andrew 100% to the resource um, and you hit OK. Uh, but what you will notice is if you drag this over to the right hand side, you actually have a column here where you can assign the resources. So you don't necessarily need to do it task by task. Um, so perhaps a quicker way if you can become comfortable with it is to, to use this column. Uh, so if you click on the column, uh, and uh, the, you're now looking at the view premises task and click on the down arrow, you've been told that view premises is assigned to Catherine. So you select Catherine from the drop down list and you hit enter. Um, and the next task is prepare presentations. And again, that's Catherine. And you hit enter. Um, you can also, the, the fastest way of all to assign your resources is actually to type the, the, um, the resource name. So for the directors to, to uh, meet with directors is, is Peter. And notice as soon as I type P, Peter comes up and I can hit return. Um, sign lease is also Peter. Order boxes is Catherine. Get quotes, Andrew. And you go on down, uh, finalizes Catherine. Uh, and now you get to distribute boxes. Distribute boxes is a little bit different because the boxes uh, are a material resource. So it's perhaps easier to double click the distribute boxes tasks task and go into the resources column. So the first resource that's going to distribute the boxes is Catherine. So you put Catherine in there um, and the second resource it's going to use is the boxes. So you put in boxes, but note when you put in boxes over here on the right hand side, you've, it says one box. You're actually going to use 150 boxes. So you type in uh, or you can use the up arrows, but it's much faster obviously to type in 150 and hit enter. Uh, and then you've assigned 150 boxes. And if you remember, the boxes were a euro each. So that's going to affect the cost of your project at the end of the day. Uh, so you have put in your boxes and you have put in Catherine. So you hit OK. And notice now if you drag over your, your line here and you drag over your column, you can see the 150 uh, boxes are assigned to the, to the, to the task. Yeah, so the next task is um, pack boxes, which is assigned to Catherine and Andrew. And I'd recommend that when you have two um, resources to assign, um, that you'd always use the drop down and tick the resources that way. Uh, if, for example, like disconnect computers, um, you were writing in the resource Catherine, you hit return uh, and then you go back and you realize that you're missing a, a, a resource. To be honest, it's easier to just delete and start again because the the, um, the options involved um, are, are quite complex in Microsoft Project. I, I, I'd take you through it in the next, in a more advanced session of, of projects. So when you are assigning more than one resource, try and use the drop down and select your two resources. So Andrew and Catherine do the the packing of the boxes, Andrew and Catherine, um, sorry, Andrew disassembles the furniture. Uh, and then move move with truck is another unusual resource. And that's that's when we move our we use our moving company. So this time I'm going to double click move with truck and go to the resource tab, uh, click in resource name and the drop down will appear. I choose movers and shakers. And over here on the right hand side, I'm going to put in my 450, which is the cost of the removal company. And I hit OK and see now movers and shakers have has gone in uh, with a cost of 450. So the last few tasks then uh, reassemble furniture is Andrew and reconnect computers 
um, is Catherine and Andrew. So again, when there's two, it's definitely easier to use the, the drop down, Andrew and Catherine. Uh, and the last, sorry, not the last, unpack boxes is Catherine and Andrew again. So Andrew and Catherine. And the last one then is to celebrate, which is the full internal team. Uh, so that's Peter, Catherine and Andrew. And I hit return. Note over here, after I've assigned resources, you're going to get these red men uh, on the left hand side, uh, which is talking about over allocation of resources. And um, that's because uh, on this particular this particular assignment here where Catherine is assigned, she's been over allocated for that day. But that's assigning your resources. And um, what we're going to do in our last session is 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 to level the project as it's called and, and get our costs. Uh, so that's the last um, the last session. So for now, you can save your project file and exit.